<coughs> well, I've finished the final stage of my uh, few books that I was making from my earlier videos, and uh, the books that I've finished are over there. But I want to talk about the little one I was making earlier on of Captain Blood, which I showed you. And there's a couple of points. Captain Blood uh, was quite a, a big, a big, um, a big book. And uh, of a consequence, when you make large books, you get these sort of rough edges, which I'm showing you on this one here, which is uh, 600 odd pages. But you'll see that you really need to guillotine it. Now, most people haven't got a guillotine, and this is a quick method without even cutting. And if you're prepared to have a little bit of patience, and you make yourself one of these little, little, um, little sort of a temporary vice with two bits of wood and, and two uh, coach bolts. These are eight millimeter, a hundred millimeters long and eight millimeters wide with uh, wing nuts on. So you can buy these quite cheaply, I think. I, 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 I don't know whether you can get two at a time. I think I got fours or sixes of these. But anyway, uh, the, the, what I did was I, uh, I put it in my little homemade press, which is just two bits of plywood, eight ply, I think it is. And uh, eight ply, plywood's not really good. You, you really need uh, a hardwood. But anyway, this was what I had, and it's economical. And it, it does what I want it to do. And uh, I put two holes in it and put these... 100 millimeter, 8 millimeter bolts in, and uh, I use it to compress lots of things, and it's very, very handy. And what I've done with this is, this would have been up and down and bumpy, just like the one I showed you there. But what I did was, I aren't really good at explaining things, but if you get a piece of wood, any any old piece of wood, just as long as it's got a flat square, squarish. Doesn't have to be big, and you get a piece of emery cloth or um, emery emery paper, and you rub, put it in your vice, and then you rub the top until you're satisfied with it. What what you actually what you actually want, and you do it on the three sides. Of course, you don't do it on the back, obviously, because that's where you. Your spine is but you do it on the three sides and I, I'm relatively pleased with, with the condition that this book's in at the moment and I've already done this one so it, it, it's it's really so simple because actually um, the paper when it's compressed like this is, is, is another piece of wood virtually so what you're doing you're, you're planing a piece of wood with a with a, um, a bit of emery cloth and a bit of wood and you get a satisfactory I'll just move that out of the way. You get a satisfactory edge on it, which is, um, it's not 100%, but they are just, they're just books. And if you haven't got the money, and uh, you're short, strapped for cash, and you just want to make books and enjoy yourself, uh, th this'll do. I mean, it's better than, it's better than actually nothing. And if you go at it long enough and use fine enough paper, I suppose you can get, uh, quality results but I mean this this does for me and I've had no complaints and the other thing I've got as a little tip um, that, that that's an old tip I mean I got that from the internet but this one is, is my own sort of thing when you put the backing on for the spine I mean the book is it's a complete book as it is it doesn't really need this on but it's just to finish it off it's black bit it's just a bit of flash really but uh, nine times out of ten when you cut it you always cut it short and if you do cut it short what you do is you get a piece of um just get a you can see there it's it's just short and it doesn't look all that good if you get a marking pen then i'm trying to do this with my left hand and you just rub it along like this i'm trying to do it and thing at the same time take a little bit of care And you see, it's, it's quite a success <laughs> um, compared to the other end, which looks a bit, a little bit messy. And I don't know if it's the same on the back. Yes, it's the same on the back. So you can do anywhere that, that you've missed. And uh, 
it's not too bad. And this is uh, quite a sizable book. I'll just put the lid on this before it dries off. Uh, I forget how many pages this is. But I've opened and closed this book that many times. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, 368, 369 pages. So, and that's just a reading book. So, and they're quite simple to make. You copy them from the internet. I got that from Gutenberg, Gutenberg Press. And uh, my other little bits, I, I'm going to do the same with this one, Mortley Arthur. This is a bigger one and it'll probably be a bit more trouble. Um, but uh, I'm not going to bind it with a hardback. I'm just going to put a, it's 600 odd pages, but I'm going to put a, a soft back on it and see how we get along. Um, so that's my Captain Blood one, which uh, is not bad considering it was just a straight off. Um, signatures and I, I haven't had it in, in my guillotine it's not been in the guillotine at all this one but it has been under the emery cloth and that little method that I just showed you and the other ones that I've done are the Cornish Fisherman they're all the same type of thing same type of book but they are all finished now and um, the U-Boat Hunters Naval Forces Harwich. Three years in France and some naval yarns. And my new one that I'm just started is Enti Entanglement, which is uh, to do with quantum theory, which I'm, I'm quite interested in. I'm not very clever or anything, but I just enjoy the thought, the new modern things and ideas that are coming up. It's it's written in layman's language. I understand about a quarter of it, so um, I hope nobody asks me any questions on that, for God's sake. But uh, it's written by Amir D. Ag Axel. I think he's a, a Jewish person, uh, an American Jew, and uh, I have got a picture of him somewhere. But this is, it, it, it's just, sign it's just, it, it isn't bound or anything, it's just in signatures. And uh, it's, it's ready for, for me saw to do the cuts on it and, um, then I'll bind it up and make a little buckle out of it. I'm not going to hard bind it. I'm just going to do what I did on the Captain Blood one. So I hope that's of interest to somebody. I don't know if you think you can't do a book. Well, you can. It's, they're not all that difficult. And all you do is you need to know how to make signatures. You need to know how to print it from the internet, uh, the, the document that you need, and then put them into signatures. And then you need to know how to make the holes in it so you can stitch it up. You need to know how to stitch and then glue it and put your tapes in. Well, put your tapes in first and then glue it and then put your backs on. And uh, it isn't really difficult. And most of the information, it's on the net. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of demonstrations of how to do it. I'm not going to demonstrate how to do it because it's it's something that I'm not all that, not all that good at demonstrating. And I, I do swear and I get things wrong and I'm... I'm talking a bad Yorkshire accent so anyway I hope that's uh, of interest some interest to somebody I, I don't know but uh, I enjoyed making them and uh, I hope somebody enjoys looking at them oh close there